data is a new asset in the design process. And we as designers need to be engaging that as a tool that can actively inform and evolve our design approach. My name is Alex Woodhouse. I'm an architect and design technologist at LMN Architects in Seattle. I lead the tech studio team. We are a team of specialists across fabrication, visualization, um, urban design, computational design, working in kind of novel workflows and new technologies to effectively enhance our delivery of built work. We do a lot of higher education work, a lot of performing arts, convention centers, throughout the country. There's a common theme where we're running into challenges with complex geometry and not having an effective way in a traditional manner to document and, and deliver that to a client. And so we're having to rethink what that deliverable actually is. One example is the Seattle Aquarium and specifically um, actually a few aspects on that project. There's the Coral Canyon tanks where the, the, the curvature of the concrete tanks is too complex to document sufficiently in 2D drawings. And so what we're instead doing is we're looking at using the data exchange tools between Rhino and Revit. You know, it's, it's designed in Rhino, but we're also documenting on the Revit side. And neither of these are really the right tool to actually communicate that effectively. And so what we're instead doing is taking that information from both models and pushing it into the Power BI landscape where we can visualize interactive and in real time what the geometry is and understanding the parameters associated with it. And so in that case, we just fully handed off the design models to fabricators for their understanding and how to um, assemble this, this project. If we would have gone about this in a more traditional way, there would be, I think, a larger discrepancy between their understanding of the system and what our design intent is. One, the, the use of Autodesk tools, but also now these conversations with um, different teams within the Autodesk environment. Having access to um, these conversations and being able to give our input and participate in some of the development that's happening is really, I think, starting to guide some of how we're thinking about our, our project work. We need to evolve. Our traditional workflows have been stagnant for quite a while and the AEC industry um, is slow to adopt change. And I think we're actively trying to push on that and provide some momentum through our project work and how we're thinking forward about the practice of architecture. It's still really in its infancy and I think there's a lot of exploration to, to happen, but I think we're excited to embrace that and to really push forward in, into the unknown when it comes to data.